Random forest. Now, random forest are an ensemble learning method that combines multiple decision trees to make a more accurate and stable prediction. Each tree in the forest is trained on a random subset of the data and the final prediction is made by averaging for regression or voting for classification the predictions of individual trees. This helps to reduce overfitting and improve generalization. Now let's go ahead and implement step by step and break down the code for implementing a random forest classifier in Python. So first I'm going to go ahead and import the necessary libraries. We're going to get our sklearn ensemble import random forest classifier which imports the random forest classifier class from skikit learns ensemble module. Now the random forest classifier is an ensemble learning method that builds multiple decision trees and combines their outputs to improve accuracy and reduce overfitting. From sklearn.model selection we import train test split. This imports the train test split function which splits the data set into training and testing sets allowing for model evaluation on unseen data. Next from sklearn.metrics we import accuracy score confusion metrics which imports the accuracy score to calculate the accuracy of the model and confusion metrics to provide a detailed breakdown of the model's prediction showing the counts of true positive, true negatives, false positives and false negatives. Next we import numpy as np. This imports the numpy library, a popular package for numerical computation and array manipulation in Python. Now next let's get the sample data. Again, we are going to use the same data, which is our studied and grades versus pass fail. So here it is x equal to np array, which defines the feature data x as a numpy array, each element in the list representing two features for each subset. First one, the first value represents the hour study, the second value represents prior grades, which is in percentages. The shape of x is 10, point, 10 comma 2, meaning it has 10 example rows with two feature columns y equal to np dot array and this defines the target data y as a numpy array containing binary outcomes 0 represents fail and 1 represents pass. This is a binary classification task making it suitable for a random forest classifier. So let's go ahead and split the data into training and testing sets. We call this train test split function which splits the data into training and testing sets. X train and Y train are used to train the model and X test and Y test are used to evaluate the model's performance. Text size of 0.2 specifies that 20% of the data should be used for testing and the remaining 80% should be used for training. The random state of 42 sets a seed for reproducibility ensuring that the data split remains the same each time the code is run. Let's go ahead and initialize and train the model. So that will say model equal to random for random forest classifier and we pass n estimators 100 and random state 42. Now here it initializes the random forest classifier with the following parameters. n estimators 100 specifies the number of decision trees in the forest. The model builds 100 decision trees each trained on random subsets of data. A higher number of trees generally increases accuracy but it also requires more computation. Random state equal to 42 ensures reproducibility, meaning each run will produce the same results. Next, we're going to do model.fit x train y train. This trains the random forest model on the training data x train and y train. The model creates an ensemble of decision trees that learn the relationship between features, which is our studied and grades in our case, and the target variable pass and fail. Now, let's go ahead and make predictions. We'll do that by ypred model predict x test, which uses the trained random forest model to make predictions on the test set x test for each data point in x test. The model predicts either 0 for fail or 1 for pass based on the majority vote from all the trees in the forest. Now, next, let's go ahead and evaluate the model. Here, we're going to use accuracy equal to accuracy score. Uh, which calculates the accuracy of the model by comparing the actual values y test to the predicted value y pred. Accuracy is the ratio of correctly predicted instances to the total instances in the test set. 
next we have the confusion matrix which compute the confusion matrix for the model showing the true positives true negatives false positives and false negatives finally let's go ahead and print the accuracy and the confusion matrix so this code here demonstrates a complete workflow for training and evaluating a random forest classifier which predicts whether a student will pass or fail based on the hours studied and grades the model is evaluated using both accuracy and confusion matrix offering a detailed assessment of its performance let's run this save it first go ahead and say python random forests dot py and there you go we have the accuracy and confusion matrix and if you were able to follow along that's good if not if you have any questions or any problems let me know and i'll get back to you